おいそこの JK えこんな時間に何してんだ家に帰れじゃあタダで止めてはあアニメ like Higahiro is going to a be really hard to come by. I assume because the show isn't too typical drama, romance, and runaway kind of anime. It's about the cruelty of the world and how you can learn to survive and live even if there is no one to save you or keep you safe. Everyone in the anime community is excited about this show and how much it has to offer. It is a really wholesome show on the surface, and when you watch the anime, it shows a really deeper meaning to everything said and done. I'm not sure if I can suggest to you a proper anime will satisfy you after you finish the show. There's plenty of comedic, runaway, depressing, and wholesome anime like Higahiro, where you will be given a very unique perspective on life and you will fall in love with it. Something with a deep meaning and a story behind it that will teach you many things along the way. Now, who doesn't enjoy love triangles? Scum's wish takes that romantic notion, multiplies it by two, and then splices it with cheating, casual coitus, and hormones. Lots of hormones. It's a complicated love web involving two students whose unrequited love for their respective teachers turns them into casual buddies. The ending is pretty predictable, but plenty of psychological scars were made and a fair amount of innocence destroyed. Things got more complicated as the love web expands into one of the messiest coping mechanisms for unrequited love. I really wanted to include Recover of an MMO Junkie to this list of anime like Higahiro because both of these shows are very much alike as every day except the teenage girl part. Both shows have a story of an adult who lived a tough life and who wasn't happy with how their life was going where many people just bear the pain and keep living she decided to leave everything and live her life as a neat playing MMOs as an escape from reality which we all wanted to do. Our male protagonist is someone who meets her on the game who doesn't know her real identity because both of them use opposite gender characters for their online game they do care deeply for one another. She meets someone cares for her in real life and in game and is always there to protect her no matter what happens. Okay now back to something a little heavier, similar to Scum's Wish. Love and Lies is a good contender. The plot should have been pretty straightforward, high school boy is in love with high school girl, she also likes him. So what's the problem? Well, their government mandated a predetermined matchmaking process, assigning a future partner to any person without their say. Unfortunately for the high school boy, he was assigned to someone he doesn't like. Still, that didn't stop the original lovebirds from pursuing their lawfully forbidden romance all the while said high school boy is under a forced commitment to his government assigned future wife. The government just had to ruin everything, don't they? Same story with both main characters, but with a whole new plot which I had never really seen before I'm being honest. The story is about regrets and all the mistakes you made in your past, what would you say, if I tell you, that you can go back, and fix all those mistakes, start a new life I know you would say yes. I mean who wouldn't. Satoru is a delivery guy who lives with mom, he lives a normal life, but everyone changes one day, when he is teleported to his younger self in school, but why? People live with many regrets, and everyone wish they could go back to the time and fix those mistakes. He wants salvation from someone dear, someone close to him, and someone he couldn't protect back then. I believe if I say any more it will be just become a spoiler, so I will leave the introduction and here, and hopefully you will give this show a try. Satoru? アザサガワサクタは出会ったそうここから始まったんだ僕たちの物語は There is romance, there is drama, and both anime have a runaway girl who has to rely on a complete stranger to get her basic needs done both the male and female protagonist are quite capable of handling situations on their own and have a good understanding of how everything should be between them 
Misa Kurajima is a star of the TV industry, but somehow due to a certain condition which adolescence syndrome is that she became invisible and that her existence had been subconsciously forgotten by nearly everybody, and in quite a similar position is our Seiyu Ajiwara, who doesn't have anyone to go to or look after her. That's where our male protagonist from Bunny Girl Senpai comes in as he is someone who broke his connections to the internet world quite some time ago he was not affected by adolescence syndrome and he could see Misa Kurajima in a library. Our male lead from Higahiro decides to help Seiyu and be someone who she can rely on, at least until she can learn how to live properly on her own. Both anime have a similar style to it, how can I say this, hmm. Life isn't easy, and believes me, I know how tough it can be when you grow up, and have nowhere to go, and no goals to look forward to it's like your life has no meaning, and all you want to do is disappear but when I'm over exaggerating a bit. Both shows have a male character who has suffered through their problems has thought they can no longer find happiness, or there is no one who is going to be there for them till the end until both of them are given an opportunity. In one's case, it is not really an opportunity, but rather a choice. In both of the shows, there is a slight hint of romance which is shown a bit later, where they learn to live with this new lifestyle around teenagers who learn to rely on them for basic needs or guidance. I was getting really strong feelings about this anime when I was watching Higahiro maybe because I was thinking of another character who had no goals for the future but somehow find a way to survive. Both the male leads are very socially awkward while one good one thing the story and plot are not exactly the same. The male lead is someone who has completely given up on life, he has no goals to look forward to, he doesn't have a proper hairstyle, he lives like a slob not caring about anything or anyone. And blames society for treating him like this, he believes that his life was hard and made difficult, and he had no say in this. Until one day he meets another girl game who is not just good at games, but also in real life, he is amazed by her ability to manage both the game life and real one. He understands nothing is given without hard work in this game of life, and everyone needs to find a place to belong, but he doesn't have the motivation to work for it. He is saved by the female lead who plays the same game as him, she takes it upon himself to fix his miserable life and teach him to be better at this game of life. <laughs> There comes a time in everyone's life when you have nowhere to go but forward, but you hesitate. Both the show's male protagonist go through a similar state, but not quite the same, where one person who loses their will to live because of a measly heartbreak or the fear of moving forward, but are somehow saved by another person. I have never felt so many emotions when watching any other show which emotions such as hatred, resentment, depression because one person who can bring salvation to you or bring you even deeper into despair. Both the protagonist have similar stats in the show who are rejected by their crush or have fear which they built up don't let them move any further. Both of them have given on pretty much any future goals and just live their life without wanting anything and are continually saddened by how everyone from their past has moved on to adult life. Both the female and male protagonists have no goals for the future, and they're both so dysfunctional you can easily picture them together and sorting out their problems, but that is not the case. The female lead from Domestic Girlfriend is a high school teacher who is quite beautiful and elegant, where a ton of boys have a crush on her, which is to be expected. While she cares deeply for one student, but she can't act on impulse because the student and teacher relationships aren't allowed. Now we have our teenage male protagonist who has a crush on the teacher, but he realizes that he can't just ask her to date him while he can't support her. His goal in life is to become an author, but everyone he does goes in vain, he loses faith and begins to fall deep in despair, knowing he can't be with the person he loves. Both animes have similar stories with the main characters not being happy with their current situation. Falling in love with someone with an age gap, trying to play the part of someone who can be the person they rely on. No goals for the future and having no reason to live if you can't be with that special someone. <laughs> ありがとうね。下手すれば死ぬとこだったよ。でも、あの日私があの人に言った言葉は命を助けてもらったわけだし、基本何でもしてあげるよ。
キスとかは後悔している気持ち悪い In Kakimo, we have Ichika, who is a high school teenage girl the same age as Seu, but both of them have quite different stories. One girl who one day, by just happenstance, saves the life of a guy who ends up falling in with her and the other, who left everything behind and came to Tokyo to live far away from home. Both of these animes couldn't be any more different, but we all know that due to circumstances, both of those characters will most likely end up together, just like many other animes we have seen over the years, but what matters is how they deliver it. Both shows came out on the season and quite similar in a way. Kakimo is a love story between an older man and a teenage girl just like Higahiro. While the plots and story are quite different, one story is just about simple love, you can't help how it happens, and with who, while Higahiro is about the societal issue about poverty and child abuse. They both have a similar story of an adult man meeting a young teenage girl who, in one's case, falls in love with the girl at first sight, and the other one helps the little helpless girl and cares for her. And that's it. What are your thoughts on this list of anime like Higahiro? Are there any anime that you feel should be included on this list? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video if you like it and subscribe to the channel for more anime content like this. Anyway, thanks for watching, keep safe, and I'll see you next time.